guys, welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. And if you're new to the channel, please go back, smash that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, TikTok at Fig Heel. If you're a Twitter person, follow me at the Fig Heel. We got a lot of great content going out across all platforms, different on each one. And uh, a lot of our content is focused around figures, but we also do stuff way outside the figure realm, anything wrestling, and this is something that is not figure related. I mean, I guess it could be considering things inside could be figure related, but we're gonna be going over this box of magazines that my good buddy, Tommy Avalone, um, gave to me. He said, hey man, I found this box of magazines. Um, I don't know if you wanted to check it out, um, but you can have them. And he was a big wrestling fan, lifelong wrestling fan. But as a kid, like the early 90s, mid 90s, he had like everything, you know. Um, but Tommy's a great guy. Uh, he does a lot of documentaries. He did the I Am Santa Claus documentary with Mick Foley. Um, he did the Bill Murray stories. He did um, the Peacock Barney documentary. Um, I Love You, You Hate Me, great documentary. And he's got a really cool one coming out, uh, The House From. And it's about all these famous houses from TV shows and movies that we grew up watching. But we're going to check out what, he, what we have in here. Um, on top, it's a bunch of catalogs, which I really love to look through. Um, some really cool stuff. Like, look at this. This is a time capsule right there. Some Nintendo games. The foam titles. The Doink the Clown mask. Some of this stuff I wish I had, especially for the prices that they have it here. Unbelievable. Um, really cool. But uh, a lot of these catalogs, which I love going through. This is something that was cool. He's got, it's like pretty good condition too. The Warrior um, comic book that I know came with a WWF magazine at one point. Uh, the Raw Super Nintendo booklet. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, kid. There's like a, some cutouts here. I guess he was a big Bam Bam fan. Um, Owen Hart here. Some cool stuff. But the main attraction here, we're going to look at the magazines and see what's in here. Uh, very, very cool, though. Gotta love the one, two, three, kid. Yeah, he cut out Bam Bam, Diesel, Doink, and Bret Hart. So I'm thinking he cut out Diesel and Bret Hart and just... Bam Bam and Doink were affected in the end, but still pretty cool. Here, there's some match cards here, which I thought were really nice. This is from the Spectrum, August 6, 1994 in Philly. Had Brett the Hitman Hart versus the Rocket Owen Hart. Diesel versus Razor Ramon for the Intercontinental Championship. Duke the Dumpster Josie versus Jerry the King Waller, Tatanka versus IRS, Mabel versus Yokozuna, Adam Bomb versus Quang. That's pretty cool. Smoking Guns, Billy and Bart versus Well Done, Timothy Well and Stephen Dunn, Sparky Plug versus uh, Pierre from the Cool Packers. And you'll see there's a uh, Ico Pro ad there, which I think is so cool. I mean, there's some really cool stuff in here. And then on the back, it's got like the. Uh, the hotline, if you guys remember that. It's pretty cool. Um, any other match cards? Here's a match card, and on the back it's got a Survivor Series ad that it looks like he colored in when he was a kid. Um, Lex, the main event of this of this uh, Spectrum show, November 20th, 1993, was Lex Luger versus Ludwig Borga. If that's not a telltale sign of how business was then, man. Lex versus Ludwig. Bret Hart versus Jerry the King Lawler. Doink the Clown versus Bam Bam. The Quebecers versus the Steiner Brothers. That's really cool. One, two, three, Kid versus Johnny Polo. Rock and Roll Express versus the Head Shrinkers. Um, very cool. Very interesting. Plus one other exciting bout featuring the Rocket, Owen Hart. Very interesting to look back on these match cards and and just see what was going on in wrestling at the time. Um, Saturday, May 18th, 1996, Shawn Michaels versus Diesel, Ultimate Warrior versus Owen Hart, Goldust versus Razor Ramon, 
Um, Yokozuna versus Vader, Jake Roberts versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ahmed Johnson versus British Bulldog, Body Donna's versus The Godwin, Savio Vega versus Triple H. This is pretty cool. Wildwood Convention Hall, Friday, July 7th. This ad and it features um, Bam Bam Bigelow versus King Kong Bundy, Razor Ramon versus Mabel, Adam Bomb versus Hakushi. That's pretty cool. Two New Jersey guys. I'm guessing that's why they put them there. It's 1995. Um, some really cool stuff here. Here's another cool one. The Toys R Us. Uh, I think I've shown this before. I did show this, but I don't think I showed this one before. So, this is a WCW catalog and it's like all generic wcw stuff for the most part i mean like all wcw stuff limited edition missy hyatt poster calendar 10 bucks very cool do they sell that title no it's like a kid's title they sell yeah, it's not really any wrestler branded merchandise. It's all WCW branded. They got golf balls, golf umbrellas. But over here is a couple things. Like it's got a picture pack of Dustin Rhodes, Ric Flair, Sting, and Vader. The Hogan, e uh, the Sting uh, foam finger, I mean. The WCW uh, megaphone. Very curious, very curious uh, thing here. There's like one piece of Sting merch, a shirt over here, Nasty Boys, but like for the most part, it's all WCW, which is uh, kind of wild to me. But anyways, <clears throat> I will do content on these at another time on my other uh, avenues. We're gonna take a look at what's in this box. Um, and the first thing on top is something I want to show, which I think is really cool that he like kept. And it is, I think it's a little beat up, but I wanted to show this that I, I think I could absolutely frame this. It's a King of the Ring, June 25th, 1995, live on pay-per-view poster. And it's got like crests for each person. So. Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Bob Holly, Razor Ramon. Down here, it's, um, what do we got? Is that Mabel? I'm reading it backwards, so it's hard to say. Is that Roma? I can't read it. <laughs> Okama, Rhodey, Yokozuna. Huh. Pretty darn cool, man. What a cool poster. I think I want to like frame this. I mean, it's folded up, but I think, I'm pretty sure that this came in like a magazine or something. Either way, it's very cool. So I just want to show you some of the magazines that are in here. We're not going to go through all of them, but here's a cool one. This is a April 1995 WCW magazine with Macho Man on the cover. September 95 with the Renegade. I mean, who, who would have thought Renegade was on the cover of a magazine? I mean, I never got WCW magazine, so to see this, that's pretty cool. We got Hogan here from October 95. Clearly, he, my boy uh, Tommy was a uh, WWF fan. But still, you got to show some love to WCW, like we all did. But I was a WWF guy as well, so I get it. Um, let's see if there's anything really cool in here to show. Pogs, they have Pogs for sale. They call them milk caps. And they have this Macho Man foam hat up there. And then Pogs down there. That Hogan hat with, with his picture on it that we, we see all the time. Um, the Stars and Stripes USA mask and a Vader mask for 12 bucks, which I think is pretty cool, man. It's got the WCW logo on it. I would love that Vader mask now. 
Now this is something when I saw this, I was like, man, this is really cool. It's a WWF program, um, volume 218. I don't know what the date may be on it. No date, but it is a WWF program and it's got Ludwig Borga on the cover. Who would have thought Borga would be getting that kind of love? Here's another program with Razor. On the back, it's got Samu and Fatu. The WrestleMania 10 Collector's Edition WWF Magazine. Uh, like I said, he was, in, he was in the heart of the 90s collecting all this stuff. Um, so it's really cool to just take a peek. Again, guys, like I, I know some of you are going to say, oh, you should have went through all the magazines. Like That would probably be a three-hour video, um, knowing me, because I would just talk about every single page. But um, I'll like skim through some and show you the cool things that I find. Here's another program, which I thought was awesome. It's um, Goldust and Marlena. And here's a, a very uh, 90s, 1995 thing for wrestling fans. You remember that they would promote these all the time, Karate Fighters. And I actually had these because WWF would promote them. And I was like, oh, I thought that they were associated with WWF. They weren't. Um, oh, this one's stuck. Sometimes that happens at old magazines. They get like water damage or something like that and they kind of stick. What's this? This is the WWF. And I, I can feel them in here. So let's... There's the... Oh, I thought it had like the cards in it. There's a couple of these that have cards in them. Here's the Royal Rumble Special Edition. Here's a cool one. WWF Spotlight with Hulk Hogan. And now we'll get into the real magazines. This is uh, Kicking It With The Click. This is April 96, and I think this has the cards in it. It does, still attached. This I love, man, this is so cool. And the, the fun thing about some of the cards was that they would have like a paper doll, kind of like the uh, ice cream bars did on the other side of the insert. Um, so let's see what we have here. Battle Royal, Heart Foundation versus Hunky Tonk Man, WrestleMania, Undertaker versus Jake. Brett versus Yoko. The Rockers versus the Orient Express. I like that. It's really cool. Um, some of these are, yeah, these are, these are all kind of throwback pictures. Um, there's a couple other ones, the cards that I want to, I want to show you guys. So here's another one, another cards one, but it's got like a big card in it of, um, Shawn Michaels. I love that the cards are still attached. I love that he didn't take them out. Good friends, better enemies. The, ki the kid's dream comes true. It should say the boyhood dream. And the winner is. So these are all um, HBK inspired cards on this one. The golden haired fox. All right, these are the orange cards. I remember these. This is March 96. Here we got Undertaker with that phantom mask. We got a brother love in there. Gotta love that. The brother love. Get a lot of cards, not a lot of card love. So it's good that he got one here. Ernie Ladd, the big cat, million dollar man, Uncle Ted. Texas Tornado rips through perfect. He's putting the claw on him. I love that shot. Look at that shot. Putting the claw on perfect. Very, very cool. Um, all right. What's this? This is The Boyhood Dream, uh, 1996 June. This is, look at that, great shot. Um, the King of the Mountain, The Rude Awakening. These are all um, Ultimate Warrior cards. All Ultimate Warrior cards. And I'll be honest, not a, there's a couple good shots here, but some of them is not so great. Now, up here, you'll recognize that um, the top right corner, if you're looking at the Ultimate Gorilla Press, that is from his Hasbro Series 1. That's the picture used on his Hasbro Series 1 carding. Very cool with the green trunks. Dark green, not the uh, vibrant green. Nice cover here. Welcome to the Jungle, Wildman, Mark Miro, and Sable, August 96. More cards. These are all HBK cards again. 
All HBK cards. I used to love when they would do this when your, your subscription was running low. They'd, they'd wrap it in this uh, special card stock. December 96, Psycho Sid. And these are all Hart, Bret, uh, Hart, Bret Hart um, inspired cards. And then speaking of Bret Hart, here he is on the cover of the February 96. Now these are cool cards. So in here we have Hakushi, Sonny, King Kong Bundy, Razor Ramon, and Dean Douglas. We got an Avatar card. I wonder if Avatar got any other cards. That's really nice. Now here's one as a kid. I loved this cover and I still think it's really cool. This is the September 96. Um, can't tell who is that. Is that... I think that's Phineas. Yeah, Phineas Godwin um, slapping Sonny. Sounds dirty, but there it is. Uh, and the cards in here are all Ahmed Johnson. I like. I don't like when they're uh, centered around a single superstar. I kind of like when it's uh, a plethora. This is a nice one. Jake and Revelation. And these are all Undertaker-inspired cards. So what do you guys think? Should I take these cards out or just leave them attached? This one I don't think has cards in it. This is a Gold Dust. Remember the name? January 96. A little bent up. Oh, man, I remember this ad. Join the clubhouse. You remember this? So 90s. The kids in the clubhouse coming down. Such a 90s ad to have. Marty Jannetty rocks on. Article about Marty. Got a King Kong Bundy ad here. What we got? March 94, WWF Magazine. Undertaker on the top, very, very dark. On the cover, I mean. Here's a German Sparky plug. I love those obscure old career driven characters. Diesel 95. Oh my God. Do you guys remember in the 90s, every magazine? Now I can't find it. Every, not, every magazine in the 90s had this. The, um, what was this, BMG? Columbia House. And you could select like 10, 10 cassettes, 10 CDs, and uh, send away for an incentive. And then you're like basically required to order CDs all the time. So crazy. Genius marketing, I guess. But so crazy, man. Some of the, a lot of this was like, a lot of the magazines I felt was a very, Mostly advertising, like there'd be like 10 pages reviewing the previous uh, pay-per-view and making you want to order the pay-per-view is essentially what it was trying to do. So far, after skimming through, I'm not seeing any WWF Hasbro um, ads yet. Look at this, the roadie, July 95. Very cool. Oh, look at the uh, cover, I didn't even notice. We got... Um, King Kong Bundy on the fr on the front. Oh wait, this. All right, so here's the. Is this? Yes. Yeah, so, this is the. This is what the poster came with. This is the souvenir edition program featuring free collector's poster inside. So this is this is where this came from. Now these were all oh, these were folded up in here. I thought that's what it was. Okay. I love this poster. Oh, very, very cool. This is a famous cover. We got Lex and Michael Jordan on the cover. How cool is that, man? It's like an iconic shot now. Again, I just want to show you the covers, the ones we got. We got uh Lonesome Dove here mr brad hart i always liked hbk with the beard with the stubble i always thought that it was a good look for him 
but I guess he wasn't feeling the same. We got, hold on, Mantar. I just saw Mantar. Oh, look at this. Isaac Yankum. Here we have, um, there's cards in this one, but this is from October 95. This is the AOL cover. It's an iconic one. Here we have Henry O. Godwin, Harvey Whippleman, the Grand Wizard, Bam Bam Bigelow, King Kong Bundy, Jim Ross, and Tatanka cards. This is what I'm talking about. And look, I love how they call Henry O. Godwin. It says Hog. Very cool. And here's another iconic cover. Boom. What year was this? August 95. Major Pod uh, redid this. Did a little tribute to it. So cool. Looks like he took the cards out of this one. But man, that's a cool one. This. Remember I was talking about how your last issue would put like this like card stock cover over it? This is a cool one. Look, The Undertaker. Do you really, do you want to see something really scary? Just turn over this magazine. Boom, right there. That's a cool cover, man. So nice. Got a little Bam Bam poster, holding a fish. He would put that on his Tinder profile. We got December 95. June 95. What did this come with? Nine body saving training cards and clothes. Oh, he took them out. But it's got A Bret Hart 8x10. It's pretty cool. 1994. That's cool. We got Owen and Jim, and on the back, Taker versus Taker. Diesel. Another one of my favorite covers right here. Macho Man with the dog. Very cool. And this one has a catalog in it. Let's see if there's anything of note that we can show. Typical stuff that we've seen a hundred thousand times. Here we go, some figures. Look, this is the blue card series. How much were they? Not $10 each. Ba listen, back then, $10 each, I'll take them, right? Back then though, 10 bucks each, that's a lot. But if you could get the red trunks or the white tights on the blue cars right there, good stuff. Pricey figures right there. Um, oh, these are cool. Look at these posters. I'm a sucker for posters. The smoking guns. That's nice. Crush cover. Another another uh, cardstock cover. I always like these. All right. Brett there on the back, I love this. Lex, we want you to subscribe now. <laughs> Cracks me up. And this had right on the cover. Adam Baum. Brett again, and I think the last ones in here are a little bit beat up. So we got Lex on the cover again. Lex on the cover again. This looks like a porno mag. And Razor. These ones are all cut up. That's why these ones are at the bottom. But, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like kind of what he gave me. I thought that was a really cool thing. Like people always ask me like, oh, like do you kind of just keep your um, collecting a secret? Like, no, like I literally freaking tell everybody. And I'll tell you why, like everybody at some point has had wrestling in their life. You know what I mean? And once they know that you have it, people love getting rid of stuff. And I found that they always remember. And people offer me their stuff, their figures, their kids' figures, their 
old magazines, like. Why not? Sorry, something distracted me there. But this is so cool. I, I love magazines. It's they're they're not typically the most like lucrative collectible. But it's one of those things like that's not why you collect them, right? Like they're fun. So we're gonna close that up. Got the warrior. Gonna look at some of these merch catalogs real quick, see if there's anything cool. Man, look at this. First off, they have a Mr. Perfect poster that is, it's like a sketch and a picture of him. And there's these Mr. Perfect um, shirt and Steiner Brothers shirt. Look at that. This is the 93 merchandise catalog. Here we have a cake, de uh, cake decorating. I think I looked at this one. I like the Christmas ones. Christmas ones usually have the, oh, look at the cover on this one. There's the last one I'm gonna look at and I'll, I'll show you if there's anything good in it. Oh, this is a, this is a WWF video. This is a Coliseum video catalog. So it's not merch. So you put them in here so They're 40 bucks each per WrestleMania. Isn't that crazy to think that now we pay $4.99 a month with Peacock and you get them all? Each Survivor Series, $39.99. Each King of the Ring, 30 oh, Everything's 40 bucks. They have a WBF in here. 40 bucks for each video. Huh. Crazy. But... Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you saw something really cool, something nostalgic, brought you back a little bit. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button for me. What's this? Oh, this is the other WCW one. It's got... Um, what's, this stone? what's this Steve Austin thing? Oh, uh, just a picture. Yeah, nothing really that, that cool. Look, Hacksaw um, 2x4 and Hunky Tunk Man scarves. They have a pile driver shirt that Paul Undorf's wearing. But, yeah. Comment below if there's like a certain magazine you want me to go through. Maybe I can do a separate video for that. But I just wanted to show you guys a little gist of what my buddy gave me. And I thought it was really nice of him. So, yeah. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. And don't forget, pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. New one's coming soon. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.